Okay, um, let's go over the news. So, so top of the news is the fact that this the meeting between uh, Trump and the Taliban has uh, has uh, been canceled. Uh, Trump canceled the secret Camp David meeting. So they were going to fly the Taliban leadership, these these negotiators into into the United States to come to Camp David and negotiate a peace deal with Donald Trump. Now, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again, you do not negotiate with evil. You do not negotiate with evil. That is a principle. You don't negotiate with North Korea. You don't negotiate with Iran. You don't negotiate with the Taliban. What do you have to gain from negotiating with the Taliban? Nothing. If we want to leave Afghanistan, then leave Afghanistan. Pack up and leave. All negotiating with the Taliban and signing a peace agreement with the Taliban does is legitimizes the Taliban. And all it will do is embolden them to take over Afghanistan, which they're going to do anyway. Because we haven't thoroughly and systematically destroyed the Taliban, which is what we should have done after 9-11, I mean thoroughly demolished them, used the full capacity of the, of the, of the U.S. military to, to crush them. Since we haven't done that, then they are as strong as ever. They have gained strength. They are still the same philosophically as they always have been. They have the same Islamist ideology. And they will take over Afghanistan, whether you sign a peace deal or doesn't. What, what does a peace deal mean to evil people? What does signing a document mean to somebody who's evil? Somebody who's evil doesn't care about signed documents. They have no respect for signed documents. They have no meaning to peace agreements. It, it, it was the same with Yasser Arafat, that Israel should have never signed a deal with him. It only emboldened him to become even a, a, a worse terrorist and emboldened him to attack Israel even more, which is what the second intifada was in Israel in, in the early 2000s. Uh, it didn't help. You remember Kissinger won a Nobel Peace Prize. He won a Nobel Peace Prize for negotiating a peace between South Vietnam and North Vietnam. And what happened? Six months after he got the peace prize, North Vietnam invaded South Vietnam, ignored the peace deal, you know, basically ripped up the agreement, invaded South Vietnam, took them over and established communism over the whole Vietnam Peninsula. You cannot, there's no point in, there's no value in negotiating with evil. But yet people try it over and over and over again throughout history. Yet every single time, it's useless. So. I'm not surprised Donald Trump is doing this. He is the ultimate pragmatist. He's a complete pragmatist, doesn't believe in principle. He thrives on dealing with evil. Look at his attitude towards the murderous dictator of North Korea and his best friend and loving relationship. Um, and, and, you know, so I'm not surprised that he negotiated with the Taliban. But to me, it's a comp negotiating with the Taliban is a complete and utter, unequivocal betrayal, betrayal of America. It's not America first, it's America in the trash can, it's America last. So, uh, and, and he wants to negotiate with Iran. He's offered the Iran to negotiate, to negotiate and the Iranians won't, won't come. Uh, but, but the idea of negotiating with people who don't give a damn about whether they hold on to their treaties, whether they, their word is worth anything because they are evil people. It's just ludicrous. You don't negotiate with mass murderers. You don't negotiate with serial killers. You don't negotiate with a thug around the street. You don't negotiate with bullies. You crush them or you walk away. But you don't negotiate. So it's just more of the same kind of pragmatism from the Trump administration. Okay. We what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes.